Hi, my name is Lisa Ross. Happy Thanksgiving. Um, my name is Julia Woods, and we're here today to take a break from Thanksgiving dinner and talk about an extremely important crisis that is happening in China right now. Um, as we're here on Thanksgiving, being extremely thankful for everything we have and all of the safeties and the freedoms that we have, we I think it's very, very important to acknowledge those that do not have the same safeties and freedoms as us. Um, we're talking specifically about the Uyghur population in China, who is being persecuted for their Muslim religion and thrown into concentration camps. Um, it's extremely important to acknowledge that this is a Holocaust and it should be addressed the same as every other Holocaust that has happened in history and it's happening right now. Yeah, I mean, I'm Jewish, um, my niece is half Irish Catholic, and we believe in religious freedom, and actually I'm pretty sure that most people would agree that the Chinese government is just using religion as an excuse to um, have the world sort of turn the other way uh, because of all the Islamophobia, and it's really important for all of us to speak out against this human rights abuse against the Uyghur people and the, not only are people getting put into concentration camps but they're getting really long prison sentences like a 20 year prison sentence for making a phone call that's how crazy this is getting and the people that are giving prison sentences are just not going to be released their lives are ruined there are 20 year olds who are given these like 20 year prison sentences for calling a relative abroad or for knowing someone living abroad I mean these are the reasons someone could have a long scarf a beard somebody could have prayed or been seen to pray somewhere in public these are all reasons that people are getting incarcerated, either put into prison, put into camps, and basically the whole region where I've been traveling for almost 20 years has been turned into a, a, a prison that you are constantly walking through with surveillance cameras, barbed wire. There is very little freedom. Um, yes, my aunt has known people personally who have been put into these concentration camps and taken away from their family in an extremely unjustifiable manner um, with no reasoning, um, no communication between them and their family. Um, so we're here today to hopefully motivate you all to speak up, speak out, um, make a video just like this one, um, do all that you can to use our voice and our freedoms and be thankful for that, but not only be thankful, but actually make use of those freedoms. Yeah, so everybody, please make a video, please speak to your friends, please speak out and demand to the Chinese government to end this human rights abuse and this atrocity. Thank you.